Alright, so in this video we're going to learn how to find the function of a polynomial given the zeros and uh, this condition here. Now I'll have uh, four examples. Uh, I'm going to do one example per video. Uh, you may want to check out the other examples because they're all going to be a little bit different. Okay, so and they'll, you know, it'll pretty much hit, you know, everything you need. Alright, so here we have a degree 4, and we have zeros at negative 4, negative 1, 1, and 4, and we have the condition that p of 0 is equal to 1. Okay, so it's kind of like, like, you know, let's say you have x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0, and then you know you factor this, you got x plus 3, x plus 2, so x plus 3 equals 0, or x plus 2 equals 0. So x equal negative 3 or x equal negative 2. Okay. So our solutions are negative 3 and negative 2. Well, you can see that's what we're starting with is this down here. So we're basically working backwards. But instead of a quadratic, we have a fourth degree. Okay. But, it, you know, it's the, it's the same concept. All right. So... Let's take a look at this. Well, this tells us that x is equal to negative 4, or x is equal to negative 1, or x is equal to 1, or x is equal to 4. So if we add 4 to both sides here, that gives us x plus 4 equals 0, or add 1 to both sides, x plus 1 equals 0, or subtract 1 to both sides, x minus 1 equals 0, or subtract 4 to both sides, x minus 4 equals 0. And so now we can put it, put all these together, multiplied together, so x plus 4 times x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 4 equals 0. Alright, so here's our polynomial, so we'll call that p of x is equal to x plus 4 times x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 4. Alright, but then we have to multiply this by some number a, okay? Because when I plug 0 in for x and I evaluate this, I have to make sure that I get an answer of 1. Okay. Now, A may be 1, I don't know, or it may have to be something else. Okay. But you can see that if I don't have the A here, and I plug 0 in for X to each one of these, well, this is going to equal what? This is going to equal 16 which you can see that's not 1, and that's why we need that A there, okay? All right, so let's put the A back here, and let's evaluate the function at 0. So P of 0 is equal to A times, and I'm plugging 0 in for X, plus 4 times 0 plus 1 times 0 minus 1, times 0 minus 4. All right, and what does it say that p of 0 equals? Well, it says that p of 0 is equal to 1, so this should equal 1. All right, well now I have this equation here that I can solve for a. Okay, so, all right, this is going to be, look at this, this is 4 times 1 times negative 1 times negative 4, which this is equal to 16. So that gives me 16a equals 1, and then if I divide both sides by 16, I get a is equal to 1 over 16. So now I'm going to take the 1 over 16 and I plug that back in there for a. So I get p of x is equal to 1 16th times x plus 4 
times x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 4. Okay, so this could be your answer. Okay, that could be your answer. Or we can go ahead and multiply all this out. So let's go ahead and multiply it out so you can see what happens. So p of x is equal to 1 16th times, and I'm going to multiply this out. Well, x plus 4 times x, well, let's just do the x plus 1 times x minus 1. Well, we know that's x squared minus 1, okay, because we know that a minus b times a plus b is a squared minus b squared. And then we'll do the same thing with the x plus 4 and x minus 4. Well, that's just going to be x squared minus 16. And then if I multiply these out, that gives me p of x is equal to 1 over 16 times. And then I just multiply this out. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times negative 16 is negative 16x squared. Negative 1 times x squared is minus x squared. And negative 1 times negative 16 is plus 16. And so now I have p of x is equal to 1 over 16 times. And then I combine these like terms. x to the fourth minus 17 x squared plus 16. And so, you know, you can leave it like this or you can come over here and distribute the 1 over 16. So p of x is equal to 1 over 16 x to the fourth minus 17 over 16 x squared plus, and then 1 16th times 16 is 1. And so there's your answer multiplied out, and this is your answer if you don't multiply it out. Okay, I'm sure it's going to be, you know, whatever you're teacher wants you to do, do that. Alright, so I hope this video helped and check out the other examples on this. Uh, give me a like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.